welcome everyone to our STEM Career Friday Fireside Chats uh, made for the New York TIC program. I'm Tara Granke, the Headwaters Youth Program Coordinator, and I work for Trout Unlimited, and I'm really lucky to be here today with my colleague Derek Staub, who is also a Trout Unlimited staff person. He is the Pacific Northwest Education Coordinator and is based out of Oregon. Um, and before uh, he was in this role at TU, Derek was a project manager actually doing field research, and he has previous experience uh, removing a massive dam as well, so it's pretty cool. So we're excited to hear from Derek today about his experience and his job and get to know a little bit more about him. So thanks for being here, Derek. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having me. Hello, everybody. Yeah. So we'll just jump in. Can you give us an idea of what you do for a living these days? Yeah, um, good question because it has shifted a couple years ago. Um, so as you mentioned, I have been doing project management work. And so my position was working on the upper half of the um, Deschutes watershed. And that work was basically trying to fix habitat. And so it could have been planting trees and shrubs along rivers or removing uh, pipes or infrastructure that was in the waterway that was blocking fish. Um, so kind of a fun mix of being able to improve habitat. But um, I do have a background in educational work. And so even during that phase of my job, I was definitely educating youth and adults and trying to get people connected to project, get them out on the ground and kind of see that work. And so that's what I, I was doing. And now I've been able to do more educational work. And so really focusing in on field trips and project education, service learning, getting your hands dirty to try to help fix the habitat out on the land um, with a, an educational lens and make sure that we're learning along the way. That sounds so fun. I think it's so cool how you can shift your career within the same kind of uh, field and work for the same company, but still be doing different things along the way. For sure, I feel lucky, yeah. yeah. So what do you love in your work? Uh, things that I love about my job, boy, there's a few things that come to mind. Um, I guess the first thing that I love about my job is when I have a chance to work in the field, to be outdoors. And I think that that brings me so much joy. It's just being happy and healthy, um, especially working with people out on the ground and along beautiful rivers. Um, that's probably the first thing about my job that I love. Um, second thing is definitely being able to educate uh, youth and adults. I love being able to spark people. I love being able to kind of help them uh, get inspired to kind of see how they could be involved and how they can um, do things uh, in their communities and out in their local watersheds. I love that phase of the job. And then lastly, with Child Unlimited, I really believe in our mission, believe in what we do. And so I love the fact that I'm working to improve habitat, working to protect water and uh, teaching people about doing the same. So. Um, so luckily there's kind of multiple things about loving my job. I definitely feel lucky about uh, what I do and, and how it helps. Yeah, I love that. Certainly feels good to have a job where you feel like you're making a difference every day. For sure, I agree, yeah. So on the other end of that, what do you find challenging in your work? Yeah, challenging, um, for me, what's challenging about my job is the mix of responsibilities. Um, one day I might be working on some technical challenge. So it's trying to figure out difficult soil conditions that we're working with, trying to understand uh, hydrology, how rivers and streams work and can behave differently. Um, so you can have some technical aspects of the job where you're trying to do some problem solving in that way. And then even in the second half of the day, I could easily be working with third graders. And it's just basically trying to teach and engage um, you know, younger folks and make sure that you're uh, using your teaching hat and doing a great job educating and being able to reach a mixture of people. And, um, and then lastly, uh, the other side of that is uh, coming back to the office. And it's basically trying to fundraise or write a report or being able to have an important meeting with maybe a set of board of directors. And so um, a position like mine definitely has a lot of different responsibilities, which can be exciting and definitely rejuvenating um, just to constantly be learning more, but it can also be challenging. And so it's kind of that mix. Yeah, yeah, I could see that. Um, okay, so what might you say to students who want to follow this um, type of career path or type of field? 
I would definitely say go for it. Um, we really need you. And uh, I love how the STEM fields, it's all about problem solving. So it's basically just trying to think through how can I figure out things that we need to fix or improve? How can I help? How can I make uh, the world better? Um, I think the STEM fields often have that as a part of it. And so um, if you're interested at all in science or math or engineering, definitely continue down those pathways because the work is really important and it's uh, it's gratifying and um, and we need you. We definitely need good problem solvers in our world as we try to figure out how to make things better and how to share this world with lots of other wildlife um, that need it too. So um, yeah, please, please go for it because it's a, uh, it's a really a good field to go into and it's uh it's an important one and we need more people to get involved in it. Awesome. Well, thank you, Derek, so much for spending some time with us. Uh, we really you appreciate you being here and we'll talk soon. Thank you very much, Tara. Yeah, I look forward to it um, another time and um, good luck, everybody. Go, go do it. All right. Thanks. Bye. Bye.